Hello and welcome everybody to Map Fights Battle League. Today we have Keg versus CDN. Uh, starting off, it's going to be Tier 5s on Fisherman's Bay. And then we're going to be moving over to... Looks like to be... Tier 9 on Sunset Coast. And then we have MBA with Westfield with 9s, 10 versus 10. Uh, CDN is defending the map. Right now, CDN is mostly on defense. Keg is defending Sunset Coast, so we will be having a little bit of fun. And with me today, I have Blade and Lone Killer. Hey, how you doing? Just making sure we have everything locked down. Oh, look what we got coming up here. Oh, yeah. Panzer 5 Force for Tier 5 is going to be a big deal. Yeah, capture KV-1, so. Bogator. Bogator! I mean, it's pretty Bogator. much just a captured KV-1. Yeah. Well, it's captured KV-1. It's just regular KV-1. Lots of Panzer yeah. 5-4s. This is 6 versus 6. Two. They're pulling out the Leopard. I wonder what they're going to be doing with the Leopard. This should be interesting. Where do you think the fight's going to be? You think it's going to be a city fight? Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's regular standard battle. Both teams are allowed to cap out the base. So we'll have to see what they plan on doing. All right, let's take a look at the field here. You knowing that they're low health, you know, because with fights like this, having the low health, you, I mean, look at the top right now. Keg's in lead already with 1200 hit points. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a big difference. Yeah, they, they, I like how we depth, actually yeah. see the hit points on the uh, left and right side of the screen this time. Yeah, Looks I like, like that they too. fixed the uh, spectator view a little bit. Well, right now, let's actually take a look. We're looking at a CDN here. Looks like we're going to be having the KV-1 holding in the back. We have the mediums up on the right side here. Looks like a Crusader. It is a Crusader. Okay, 450 hit points. Capture KV-1. Uh, they have... Two, the Panzer 5 fours heading up to the left side. They have a lot of speed, so getting those guys up and left is going to be really nice. And up in mid, we already have some action going on. Uh, Beast Mode is taking a couple of shots inside that Leopard already, right off the bat. You know, just early detection, early spotting, but oh. he seems like he's going to be getting focused out. Yeah, Beast just took a couple shots, Ooh. too. He's, he's Samurai just took a shell. Hurting. Yeah, but Samurai's Leopard's. already down to 480 hit points inside the Panzer 5 4 out of the 860 hit points. Yeah, but he, it's a Leopard and he's got a concealment and speed yeah. on his side. Looks like they're doing a little bit of a city push with the Panzer 5 4. So yeah, they have what? a double up in the city here. A yeah. couple of heavies. Blade, your wife in the background. Oh, yeah. What do we have around the corner here? So able to use the uh, D pad actually to transfer immediately to what I want to see, but they're going to tap A. Observe. Okay, so you got to tap A to observe player. That's nice. Okay, coming down low. Panzer 5-4. Let's actually take a look here. There we go. Ooh, taking a shot right away. Small hits from the Bogator or the uh, captured KV-1. It's captured KV-1. His driver looks like it's out. Radio Man's out. He's taking quite a bit of hits. But with that fast rate of fire, he is able to get out a little bit of damage. But he is taking some hits. It was, might have been a bad position. Hit him. It already hits hard, man. There is there already? I didn't see already. Oh, there is an artillery. Okay, so they are running an M41 HMC. That's, yeah, that's fast what fire rate. Right? Screw like that. Oh no, I was looking at a CDN. So I was looking at the team that has the artillery. Crusaders oh, getting pushed. Demon. Demon, Demon got hit hard. Yeah, with a he got hit hard by artillery, killed a bunch of his crew. Oh, but right he's now, back now, and he just took out somebody. I didn't see who it was though. Uh they just took down uh, DRP modes or mobs. But um, right, it's it's still an even game. Hit points are very well spread. Right now, capture KV one. He's definitely gonna get knocked out. There's a lot of hit points on those Panzer Five Fours. There we go. They're just circling him. Come back up. It looks like uh, CDN's going to be trying to get the base cap going, but with the amount of players that they have, they need to try and hold. 
as much as they can, or Keg needs to take over the cap. Bitter just got knocked out. Bogator is taking a few hits now. All these trees in the way. Okay, with three of them on the base cap, I don't know how this is going to work out. Honestly. Ooh, Panzer V Four is set on fire down the 98 hit points. Bogator taking a couple more hits. Right now, Keg is just kind of caught out in the open. Yeah. Oh, okay. Capture King Tiger just took a huge hit. He's down. Yeah, yeah those Panzer, Panzer V Fours doing the rotation to the middle was a really good choice. And then applying pressure on the cap. Artillery, no, ouch. <laughs> yeah. Gun broke. That looks like it hurts. Driver's dead. Yeah, that was going quickly. Yeah, CDN yeah, had a really good push right there. Me. That is for sure. So, not really worried about, you know, going over damage or anything else, but CDN had a really good performance right there. Panzer 5-4 is going on the outskirts and coming into the center. Was a really good choice on their part. Keg, um, yeah. they probably had too many people pushing on the uh, city flank. Well, they should have had two of the Panzer 5-4s, Blade Mute it, heading over to um, the center instead. That would have been a better choice, in my opinion. But then again, their push was really good, but once that pressure was applied, uh, they did kind of fill it, and they had to back off. The artillery had a good game. Yeah. No, fielding an artillery on that map was a pretty good idea. That's, a, that's applying a lot of pressure. So we don't need to do anything about the score screen yet, but CDN did just defend their territory, I believe. That was a defense. Yeah, CDN retains um, retains that map. Fisherman's Bay. Up next is Sunset Coast. Uh, we're going to be looking at tier 9, 6v6. Keg is defending this map. I do believe this is a one and done map as well. And then up next after this is going to be multi base assault, Westfield. It's going to be Westfield 9, tier 9, uh, 10 versus 10. And it is MBA, so best of three. So that's going to be the match that we're going to be having a lot of fun commentating over. Westfield's a really difficult map to defend, but Sunset Coast was 6 versus 6 in tier 9. Um, Kind of wondering what we're going to be seeing. T30s. I think we might be a seeing a map. T30. It's a big map for 6 on 6. No, Sunset Coast, it, it's not super big. And since it's a standard battle, depending on where the bases are located, because, you know, there's a couple of uh, spawn rotations on this map, or at least I think there used to be a couple of spawn rotations on this map, uh, we could be looking at just really just two teams holding for a while and one of them had to wait to push up. So yeah, it's another standard battle. Both teams are allowed the cap. So I wonder if they'll field in artillery again. That was actually... Uh, usually I don't like seeing artillery in matches like this, but that worked out well. It, it always works out well. Fielding an artillery inside these, because a lot of the time, you know, you're going to be seeing haul down tanks. And whenever you see those haul down tanks, it's always nice to get something that's able to dig them out or apply pressure. Then again, it does kind of make you down a player. Right. That's what I was saying. It, you know, somewhere out on the field, somebody's in a two on one. Yeah. But at the same Just time, though, in. Blade, you got to think of it this way. Even though it's a two on one, that artillery is able to hit for a thousand, it's able to hit for 900, 800, it's able to splash right. multiple targets. Um, in a lot of comp matches that I've been in, I can tell you now, artillery can be one of the most devastating players on the field. And some of the scariest. Well, as, we because, just, as we just seen in that last match, I mean, he did very well. Yeah, I didn't keep track of the damage, but uh, actually, we could probably go uh, take a look at what artillery did. I think he did over, I think he was at 22, I think. 
that right? Uh, no, he had 1,015, which inside oh. the lower tiers, you know, inside tier uh, 5, well, tier 6. No, that's tier 5. That was oh. tier 5. Yeah, yeah that's that's an entire team, tank so, plus a little I mean, bit on an extra, so he had multiple shots. Yep. And the M41, it's got such a fast reload that it's really hard to beat. Anyways, um, I kind of brainstorming. Compounds are 50 tons. Uh, T-54s, M46 patents. I don't know about the M46 patent for uh, Tier 9 with the 6 versus 6, but it could make a difference with the most recent buff. Uh, but T-54s, those right now are some of the scariest Tier 9s in the game, in my opinion. So I'm, I, I'm kind of wondering what I'm going to be seeing here. E-75, I don't think they're going to be playing any E-75s. There is a chance that they might... Uh, but primarily, I do think we're going to see at least one T-30 in this lineup, along with a couple so of what, Super Conks. So what makes the T-54 so conquerors. scary? Um, it used to have 221 penetration with an AP round, but with the most recent buff to it, they gave it 264 penetration with a 1,500 meter travel speed round. Ooh. That's APCR. And they increased Ooh. the uh, they de de they in increased the dispersion values from like 0.39 to 0.33. So T54s right now are very scary tanks. Right on. But compounds are 50 tons. You know we might be seeing. I don't, I don't know if we're going to be seeing any of those. If we do, uh, it's going to be a rush because they will be using those tanks to rush. But I am expecting to see. Conquerors and maybe a T30. I don't know about artillery so that, though. It would be a good play so, to pull out artillery on this map. Leopard PTA coming up. 50 TP. Ooh, that's really interesting. Progetto 66. Yeah. I don't know about the Progetto. It it is able to clip out without much of a problem. They are filling in artillery, by the way. 53, 55. Uh, there's a yep. Conqueror. And that Conqueror, yeah. There's the Composer. T95. Yep. Wonder how they're going to be playing the T95. Two T ninety five. Ooh, that's getting scary. Seven five two. Three. Three T ninety five. They're gonna T95s. have a problem with the artillery. And yep. there we go. There's the T thirty. <laughs> they might have a problem with the artillery if they get spotted. T ninety fives do have very good concealment, so they're probably gonna yeah, want to. If they get spotted, they're gonna be slow and easy target. Depending on where especially they're located. For a 53, 55, especially for an M fifty three fifty five. Oh yeah. At 5355 is going to have a heyday if those T95s get spotted out. Progetto 66, though, I don't know about playing that tank. Then again, it kind of does counteract uh, the Object 752 that uh, Black is pulling out. Oh, and that's the, uh, that's the Italian Heavy, isn't it? That's With the, the Italian Heavy it? Tier 9. Yes, that's the, um, that's the one that I hear is the best one in that lineup. So we're gonna have to see how that goes. Oh, that'd be this will be interesting to watch because I have not seen that tank in play yet. Really? Yeah, I've, I've seen a couple of them play. They're, they seem to be doing pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of focus in on that one a little bit here. I'm actually gonna. I, I wonder how they're gonna be playing the T95s in this map. Actually, I have seen this tank um, on the field. I just. Now that I'm looking at it, I just didn't realize it as much. I'm actually wondering if he's running the small gun or the big gun. Because the small gun's got four shots. Well, we'll find out here shortly, maybe. Hey, so, so what I'm seeing with the T95s, they're probably going to put them in a choke point and keep them there. And like you said, with the great consumer they have, they're going to be hard to dig out. Oh, yeah, the they're going to be line. very hard to dig out. Uh, I'm actually taking a quick look at the uh, 105. It has, yeah, clip size 4, standard pin 258, premium pin. It does have APCR 281. Um, I do believe that is what he is running on that tank. Yeah, if we take a look at the barrel here. Scratch that. 
I redid all my key bindings, so they're oh, all off. Fire going on. I actually have to click this real fast. Take a look at the barrel. That is what we're looking at. I do believe that they are running the small gun. Coming down low. Compounds are. This looks really weird. All right, so we have a red compounds and a blue 50 TP, but we do know that the compounds are is on CD inside. Uh, with the three T95s, yeah, they're just doing a lockdown position. They have one pushing up, acting as bait, and everyone else behind him. So they might try to rush that T95 right there without realizing they have the uh, back part covered. We're moving one T95 down south, it looks like, to on this uh, waterway. Yeah, it looks Walk like they off. messed up the colors a little bit. Right now, uh, Keg is... Uh, really high up on hit points because they didn't fill in artillery but if that artillery gets in there that's going to be a lot of damage so the st1 okay got hit yeah got hit t95 oh, was that by artillery yeah that was by artillery okay t30 is actually in the back of their spawn right now so they are short-handed up front but depending on how they oh, hold see if K can realize that or not yeah well, again, shots in the back of the ST, uh, SD1. Wow, T95 missed. That was the Leopard PTA. Okay, lost their T95. Oh, yeah, that's one T95 down by artillery. Yep. The double push of the T95s on the yeah, ST1. They're... Maybe focusing out the ST1 yep. is a good idea right now. Because taking him down. Ooh, miss misfire. Two misfires. No, scratch that. Okay, we had one in penetration, leaving the uh, STI, ST1 down to 54 hit points. Hopefully they can take him out and kind of level the playing field. But right now, Keg is losing a lot of hit points to that artillery. Yeah, yeah the uh, demon just took him out. Uh, let's actually go ahead and take a close look at what's going on with the Conqueror right here. He's a little bit further back. Let's jump over to the Progetto 66. Really hard to... Uh, See where the icon's located. He's low health right now, down to 118. But he's taking the top section near the T95s. Maybe filling the Progetto 66 was a bad idea. Leopard PTA Samurai just got taken out heading through mid, trying to get the flank. You see where the T95s are? They actually cover themselves from the artillery rounds. Uh, to a point, artillery is able to relocate since they uh, know that the rest of Keg is located here at the four of them. Ooh, there we go. Okay, two shots. Mm -hmm. Oh. T95s were too Keg close. <laughs> yeah, Keg. Honestly, right now, I would say that CDN has got some really good plays going on right now. They're using the armor of the uh, 50 TP and the 752 along with the compounds. Are. Compounds are just popping up for spotting and then we had the 50 TP and 752 kind of just waiting to get the shots and pull out. Mm-hmm. Uh, this Conqueror from K, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he's I don't probably just sitting in the back preparing for uh, and there we go artillery coming down and taking out the Progetto 66 leaving just the T95. Uh, right now the Conqueror is probably just sitting in back gonna get ready to use his DPM to uh, defend he's, the T95. Think, but right now, yep, I think, CDN, yeah, they, he's covering. they know exactly yeah, what's going got, on. They're going to be pushing up in multiple angles, forcing that T95 to have to focus out some other. More than likely, we're going to be seeing the Super Kong take on the Compons, or, and the T95 is going to be getting double teamed very soon. Maybe, Maybe not. He's Conqueror's he's really backing off. off. There we go. Why? He's just abandoned. No, he didn't he abandon. abandoned. They probably spotted well, out the... Uh, 50 TP going up in the top section. But he was probably just bait at that moment. CDN making a really good play. This is a slower match, but really good play on CDN. A little bit misplay on the uh, Conqueror, but, you know, it happens. Honestly, fielding an artillery, each time I see an artillery being fielded in, in these higher tier matches, uh, you do see quite the amount of difference. And a uh, keg, dude, okay. He just ricocheted three shots. Talk about some luck. There's a fourth. Of course, there's a fourth. <laughs> It'll be uh, using the old RBRT method there. Yeah. You'll be doing that. You'll balance most of your tanks. 
Yeah, there honestly, you got one pinch off. Using the auto lock in the game, it doesn't really work out too well, in my opinion. I kind of feel like the auto lock just takes away to a point. Uh, who's got dishes in the background? Sorry. Yeah, as I said, we're going to be seeing the artillery doing a lot of damage. 3,800. Yeah, that's expected. D95s could have been a good play, but they're too slow to move around the map. Yeah, they were just big hit points. Yeah. It might have been a misplay to not play artillery, because the Conqueror that sat in the background the entire time, they could have had a uh, artillery up instead. Trying to counter battery. Counter battering would have been the best play on that side. I just don't understand why the Conqueror wasn't pushed up farther. Well, Conqueror to a 53-55, that top armor just doesn't stand a chance. Then again, a lot of tanks' top armor doesn't stand a chance against artillery. D30 taking, you know, getting one shot, one kill. So he did take someone down, but he was primarily just defense in the back with the big 155, 750 alpha. Okay, so now we can actually start using the score screen since uh, this next lineup is going to be with tier 9 MBA. So it's gonna be on Westfield. It's gonna be nine. It's gonna be oh, holy crap! It's gonna be ten versus ten on Westfield. A little bit excited to see this one. Westfield. Uh, I know for a fact, more than likely, we are gonna be seeing artillery filled in on both teams since it is ten versus ten. My keg's looking a little low on numbers there. If it's ten on ten. Yeah, there. Well, CDN, we had everyone jump in. Keg's probably having a lineup. Yeah, true. Because after this, there is a 15, well, a 14 versus 14 popping up. So they probably have enough players on right now. People are getting out of matches and slowly joining in, you know? Yeah. Alrighty, you two. You two have fun with commentating for a moment. I'm going to run to use the restroom. All right, since there's a little bit of downtime <laughs> as we're waiting Excuse for me. players to get ready. That was an interesting play, though. I'd, I'd normally, like I said, I don't normally like seeing artillery and. Well, whenever it comes like down the comp and anything that's related to, uh, you know, a, a certain number of people versus a certain number of people, artillery. Because if you have nothing but haul down tanks, you got to think you need. That artillery. Well, yeah, in a ten versus ten, I can see that. In well, even in a six versus, versus six, six, yeah, I, I, just, I do feel. I, just didn't, I didn't think that they would. I, I was surprised at how effective they were. Let's put it that way. Just surprised at how effective. I, that's. I, I was kind of how I expected it to go. Because we've seen a match before where they had artillery, and it ended up being a mistake because the artillery really didn't do anything. That was a match you guys watched on my team. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, no, our filling artillery is a very scary thing with small numbers. It's a very big gamble. Yep. That that's why you know that's why I said I just really surprised how effective it was on such a small team like that. I mean, like um, so I was saying, artillery can be your downfall, it can be your outfall as well. Um, I know my team, we ran artillery ran, artillery a lot. And it's either been a big mistake or a big benefit to win a game. If you got right. super constant just... conquerors, hold down, you're just shooting HE at each other until someone makes a mistake. If you got artillery right. on your side, you can dig them out. Yep, artillery will definitely dig them out. You're right there. Definitely. <clears throat> yeah, that artillery. match you were talking about, Blade, I think it was the one that uh, my team played a... Uh, another team on St. River, and they brought out artillery. Yes. And uh, we ran three compassers, and we sent them over to the flank, and immediately took out the artillery. Yep. That was their yeah. main job, was to take out the artillery. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the second yeah, the second round, it, they went straight after artillery. He didn't last mm -hmm. long at all. I don't even think he got a shot off, but uh, I don't know. 
Well, I, I don't think he hit anything if he did. I just know that, yeah, you guys, I, know, I just remember three tanks popped up right next to him all of a sudden because they did not protect <laughs> their artillery at all. They left him just wide open. You had to have what, a good defense strat to protect your artillery. Well, so you got to have those haul down tanks on the map. You got to have those tanks that have the HP. You know, if you're run, like, we run tier 10s a lot. So if we're running tier 10s on a certain map, we're going to run a mouse or a VK, right. 721K. And the artillery could be a 261, it could be a GW100. We, we don't know. It just depends on what tank we were in the mood for. All right. What surprised um, me in that match was that artillery went to the same spot twice. Yeah. And it was like, man, they knew where you were at, so why would you go there again, you know? We were trying something new, so, I mean, as soon as I saw artillery being played, we're like, uh, well, they're down a tank. We know we have the overmatch on the heavy lineup and the medium lineup. Is Once the artillery fires, you got, what, 12, 15 seconds before they lose again, then he has to find a target, zoom in on you, fire. Right. Be lucky to hit you. Yep. And then cross your fingers and hope it hits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, seeing both teams. But, they now have 10. Uh, like I was saying, like, um, but the artillery runs, you have to have a good defense to hold your artillery alive. Make sure it does, does his job. Yeah. If you don't have that. You lose your artillery. You lose your support. You lose yeah, a lot of support losing your that artillery. Team. That's all support. Definitely. Yeah, I remember that match on Sand River. Just artillery uh, going to the same spot, and then they did a full cover over on, uh, I believe it was the A flag. Yeah. Yes. They yeah. should have had artillery going up in the hill, because if artillery was up in the hill, that would have been an easier lockdown. Could have been, yeah. But Westfield, I, I am I expecting remember. to see some artillery. K zero. I wonder if they're going to be rushing K zero with E fifties <laughs> or with compounders. E fifties right now, because knowing e the way would that be a good tank. yeah, E fifties will be a really good tank. Because with this, a lot of the time people aren't using tanks that have heat rounds. Uh, they're primarily uh -huh. using APCR. So right now, E fifties are really good plays in comps right now. Tell all the secrets there, Saad. Jeez, shh. Huh? What? No, I need to tell them all. Don't tell what are you all the about? secrets, buddy. <laughs> well, I mean, if if you're if if a team is known for loading a lot of heat, you want to take something with thicker armor. But if a team is known for loading AP and APCR, it's it's all about auto ricochet tanks like the 113, the E50M, uh, the Object 140. Mm -hmm. Getting tanks in like that to counteract APCR is just it. it it's it should be common. In my opinion, it should be common knowledge with that. But a lot of the time, you see a lot of thicker armor popping up. Super conks in general and conquerors in general, they just perform really good against heat and APCR. That's yeah. why you see them being played quite a bit. You see a lot of teams running HG rounds on their conks and super conks to dig out the hold down ones. Yep, with the penetration that they offer too, it's like even if it mm -hmm. just goes a little bit through, it's still 200 to 100 damage a shot. You're also damaging modules, crew members as well, so... Yeah, taking out yeah, commanders, destroying down. view range, taking out their driver, slowing mm -hmm. them down, slowing down reloads. Back in the day, um, whenever repair kits were a one-time use and med kits were a one-time use, uh, it oh, was yeah. really scary to... You know, play a super conk just because you would Here we go. jump in and they would get D. hit. At least they got vision going out. That's a good thing. Yeah, with the 1390. Maps like this. Yeah. Yes. And there oh, we go. Artillery. First artillery, 212A and a 5355. Okay, so we are going to be seeing an artillery play. I wonder if they're going to be running a double arty or a single. Um, I just don't get it. Keg pulling out two just don't get it. light tanks, though. Kind of uh, wondering about that. We have CDN with the RU251. They're running like two tank. artilleries. That's going to be really scary on Westfield. That's going to be just consistent barrage. Hmm. WZ120, the there the we SD1, go. I think that's a good pick, too. Um, over on Although Keg's side, slow. the only tank I believe that has heat rounds would be the Progetto 66 if he's running the big gun or if he's still running the small gun. If he's running the small gun, it's APCR. 
I think there's a lot of mobility coming out of CDN. And they do got some alpha with artilleries. Um, a lot of mobile tanks, I've noticed. They're probably going to try and do a K-0 rush. Like take... I said, you also got to make sure you got to keep those arties alive. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but Westfield's a really big map. If someone gets caught out by the light tanks, that can be a real big problem. Kind of crazy. I spawned in seeing blue tanks and red tanks on the same team. I don't yeah. Know who's who. Yeah, it's it's a little. Uh, last match, it did that too. So, you know, war gaming, they always like to mess it up. But knowing that this is keg side, so we do have the two twelve hit points are gone. <laughs> I think when it does seven on seven, you get to see the hit points. But if anything above seven on seven, I, I you think lose it's the, the size of the names. So, like, whenever there's too many players in a team. And it applies hit points. It would it would go off screen if it was fifteen versus fifteen. So that might be why they do it. You do have the hit points up at the top, though. Still. Yeah, we have that. So Keg is in the lead that's already like with one thousand and ten yeah, team hit points. Yeah, overall team hit points. Keg's running quite the amount of hit points on their team. I'm probably gonna start taking screenshots for this setup too, since we uh, don't have hit points and uh, what tanks they are using. But I do know Keg is fielding. A uh, Maushin, is that correct? I, I do believe it's all yes, Maushin. Yes, it is. I think so, yeah. Maushin, yep. And, uh... Yeah, Maushin, they're going to be pushing the hill. Right at the back, we already have see the, a the little Pajero bit of 66 play. And an M103. Right, this light tank is overcommitting. He's going to get tore up if he's not careful. I see that. Up on the top section, 1390. He's already taken a couple he has of no hits. no backup. None. He, died. he is taken out. All right, so now whoever, uh, I think it's CDN has no vision on the Ooh. AK line now. It looks like the Ooh. 212A is uh, shooting uh, AP rounds. I didn't see any explosion there. But These two tanks on the JK line, I, I, like I said, I think it's CDN. Yeah, CDN is on the K line. Tank. I was, I'll start moving up to the bridge. Well, they don't. They have no idea what's uh, what the armor is on the down low. If they do push across right now, though, um, they will be able to get side shots. Right now, it's in favor of CDN, depending on how they uh, perform their push on that K line. Really slow lineup right now. Both teams. Yeah, very slow. Very slow. They're just holding position for some reason. Yeah, they should be pushing. This is not standard. This is multi-base assault. They are going to have to be making a play pretty soon. T-49 just taking <laughs> some time out the spot. They're probably wanting to get an idea in all the positions of the teams. Slowly They're making gonna, the yeah, push just... up. Artillery's taking pop shots as well. Trevi taking a little bit of damage. Let's actually go take a look at what Trevi is I in. I think they're drawing him in. I the think ST1. drawing him in. Um, I don't see the point in trying to draw them in. Keg does need to make well, a push. They do need to make a play. They still have a pretty good advantage with hit points, but not by much anymore. They're now down by a... They are losing quite the amount of hit points due to the double artillery barrage from the 53-55s. Uh, Ouch, there we go. One it's inside the Progetto taking a big back. hit. They have nobody on... Uh, yeah, their their backside yeah. is soon going to get rushed extremely hard. CDN has taken complete map control as well. Yeah, they yes. have, and that full can map work control. heavy favor into CDN right now. Oh, Ouch. there's a big hit on the T95. Just took a or massive hit from artillery. Yep. Right now is not the time to be missing shells. You want to take that time out to get those shots to land. Take your time to aim. Building a T95 in situations like this. On defense, I think a T95 could be a good choice. But with offense, I don't really see it being too well. Uh, Concept 1B taking quite the amount of hit points there. He's down to almost a one shot now. Maybe two shots. Do not know the exact hit points. Red taking quite the chunk as well. Looks like artillery is putting in a lot of work down here. And uh, Savage just got taken Ooh. out inside the mill, so they are down a tank right now. So both teams, they're evened out, but CDN is definitely in the lead with hit points.
a 4,000 advantage right now. Looks like exceeding is going oh. for an already kill. Oh, the mouse just got taken like out by already too. Yeah, the double artillery barrage, building slower tanks in this map was probably not a good idea. Ooh. Yeah. Of a like shotgun him, but he didn't kill him. Watching two blue tanks fire at each other and then a red tank off to the side. Uh, Geese right now is taking quite the amount and running the 752. I'm sure he has that auto loader. Oh. But that 27 God, just got smoked too by an artillery. Ouch. The 27 oh. downtime with the 752 kind of feels like a misplay, in my opinion, pulling that tank out. CDN, CDN with the, definitely. Yeah, they're, uh, they had a lot of organization on this map. Definitely. Double RD was definitely a good play, uh, if you ask me, but. Yeah, even though they were down C by a thousand hit points right off the bat, just kegs, tanks, they were just too slow to make the moves. <laughs> they weren't fast enough to take the uh, positions. Now, CDN had a good lineup. Keg, on the other hand, I'm no, sorry keg. to say. Yeah, Keg had. They had too many slow, too tanks. Many slow tanks. Too many slow tanks. D95. Yeah, that can be a good defensive strat, but not an offense. No, you need mobility, vision. Yeah, the T49 and 1390 were two good choices, but I don't see a point yeah, in filling two fire. light tanks. I would have rather filled it a uh, faster medium for additional support. So, like a UDES. Yeah. Get that auto ricochet going up on the back. Okay, has one more tank left, and he's looking to go for the artillery. Honestly, kill the pigs. You know, that, that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you get the opportunity know. to take them down, take them. And he, it looks like he might have enough time to be able to do so as well, uh, depending if he gets shotgunned or not. Hey, he got oh, shotgun. He got shotgun. He, get it. he is not going to get it. No, he is not. It, it was a good attempt, though. Mm -hmm. So yeah, artilleries, just, just right look at top. that. Wow. They are up to 7,000 yeah, combined with those artilleries. Oh. Yeah, the artillery is devastating. Yeah. I mean, it was. Especially whenever, you know, you're fielding slower tanks. There's really only so mm -hmm. much that you can do against artillery. Oh, yeah. You you have to make an aggressive play right away. And uh, the, the part yeah. that kind of gets me is the M103 has all the assists and the T49 has 602. Yeah, I think building the, the mouse Conqueror got one shotted. No, Conqueror took a couple of shots, but he got wiped out really quick. They wanted to take down that Conqueror because of what map they were on. So it was good focus by CDM. Uh, losing the Emil down low, I would have rather had the Emil stay up high. Uh, WZ120, I didn't get a watch where he died at. I do believe he was one of the tanks that went through down the uh, K0 line all the way up to B0. He took out the enemy artillery and the 212 he a quite a few shots yeah well t95 um, with 3,000 damage honestly t95 shouldn't have had that much damage because he was background defense defending artillery uh but the t30 t30 should have pushed up along with the rest of the team to try and get side shots they were a little bit too uh bunched up on that hill section they should have spread out a little bit more but yeah fielding the uh double artilleries that's a lot of damage across the board with artillery So we have a point also doesn't over help on CD inside. It doesn't help Keg lost there for a slight tank as well. Uh, yeah, with the, uh, yeah, the misplay yeah, going up top. Eyes. Pushed up a little bit too far. He should have just held out at K0 and used the bush line there to be able to spot out what's going on. I do believe we're going to be seeing the same tanks lined up as well. Mm-hmm. Because I, I think that they're going to be doing two matches with the same tanks. For the Might. second round, both teams must pick the same tank, so they're... both teams will not be put on spectator while picking tanks for the second round. Okay, so they have to field the same tanks. So we're going to be seeing the same mm -hmm. plays. Right now, Keg is just at a massive disadvantage with I the, agree. the amount of speed that they have on their side. <laughs> I mean, this could work, so let me, let me explain it, it, something. It could work. You send both... One light tank, your AMS 1390 to the field area, sends your T49 to the right, 
side where the bridge is and everyone else go right through the center. You'll have spots on both sides because they look, CDN will put both their tanks on the top like they did last round, I guarantee you. Keep your 212A near the zero line, if you ask me, so he can pet down right down the center. Take out the enemy artillery, get on cap, there you go. That's what I'll do. That's me. But they yeah. just kind of line up. As long as it's way too slow to go in the field, it's just way too slow. Yeah, they got a lot of armor. They just honestly, no if they were to take the T thirty, T ninety five, and Maushin, push those to the middle, take the Conqueror M one three, T forty nine, and the other M one three up to the top section, that could be a better play as well. They got to figure out a way. To... Notice the overmatch. But Keg's got to figure out yeah. a way to at least take out one of the artillery quickly. <clears throat> um, honestly, if anything, their two twelve A should focus on counter battering. That's what I do. But Progetto sixty six, I kind of oh. feel like that's a misplay. That the lack of DPM what's that his, tank offers. What's his armor? What's the armor on the value on Progetto sixty six? Yeah. So what I we see can do is quite a few shots, but. Uh, I mean, top plate, we're looking at about 130 to 140 in some areas. So the center pike is 250. Mm -hmm. The lower plate is 100. Uh, the turret, we're looking at 195, 150 on the cheeks. So if he is hauled down, we might be looking at some decent performance out of him. Yeah, 293 millimeters of armor whenever he's hauled down on those cheeks. And the sides are basically impenetrable by heat rounds. So we're definitely going to have to see what's going on with the uh, next match lineup. <clears throat> now, I, I just... Yeah, with I... Progetto on console, it's, it's DPM on PC is lackluster, and on console, it's just almost non-existent. And then fielding the 752s, don't get me wrong, the 330 uh, turret armor... And the really wonky haul. It, they, they could be playing it because of the wonky haul. Because no one's really used yeah. to seeing it yet. So it is kind of an unknown tank. It's a three round clip. Yeah, with you know the 6.4 seconds to deliver. It's uh, yeah. 1100 plus uh, damage is 1170 in 6.4 seconds. And it does have some pretty decent pin along with its... APCR at 318. So it's it's not like they're you lacking a penetration. You get a pair of them working in one corner. I think you can do some work with it, but I don't know. I I single one. I've I played know. the tank a little bit, and the way I feel about the 752, its reload is just what kills Long. it. Yeah, that that's what kills it. All right, so I actually want to take a look at what they're going to be doing with the uh, 1390 this run. So we do know that samurai inside. Uh, the 1390. <laughs> I was on that same tank line. at that moment. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're going to be pushing the zero line. Yeah, Sidian catches them. Might not be. I don't know. Is now Keg is having the field. I already got the lights in the field area. That's a good play. Yeah. The RU-251, though, looks like they're going to be having some spotting coming up with the RU-251. Um, I should have taken a screenshot to get an idea on who's in what tank. That way I don't have to scroll through this list the way that I am. I completely passed the light tank. You know, that's how it should be done. Um, on CD Inside, I actually can't seem to find their light tank. Yeah, CK's right, well, right we got a light now. tank to over... take out the artillery. Yeah, we got a yeah. Already. I, I, that's what that's I was gonna watching. be big. That's gonna be big. Yeah, yep, take him down go. the artillery. He's probably actually going in the sacrifice himself to destroy artillery. He can take out two the both artillery before he dies. Ooh, that's he a good took play. A big That'd hit be there. a good play. Yeah, that that could send this ooh. Nope. It's okay, oh, watch out for the counter battery. But still but still needs to needs to hit his target. And now you know where all their tanks are, too. So that's Yeah, they had a back right spot. Well, no, I don't think that they were able to spot out the G5 or the K7. 
with the 1390. Oh, yeah, 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 not the K7. No, no, no. Yeah, K7 is still unknown to Keg. But dropping one artillery and getting the other one's location known. I yeah, told that's, you that's what they needed to do. Yeah, that was they a good play. They needed to take at least one out. And it could have been a suicide run for him. Having the one well, heavy like... head down low, I kind of don't feel like that's a very good play to have. What is that? The 752 um... down low. He's backing up right uh, now. He knows he's in a bad spot. It is yeah, he uh, be Giza. He needs to be up top. Giza is stuck down low in the 752. Yeah, he is taking quite the amount of hits right now. E30 is in a good spot. On the in spot. E30. T95 is in a good position as well. T30 is going to be able to get cross shots going around. Uh, Progetto Nuts M103 heading down low. Uh, is there Maushin back at their spawn? It is back at their spawn. So Maushin right should be on the front lines right now, if you ask me. Yeah. Even though the Maushin's slow, yeah. having the Maushin come down low would have been a really good play. Okay, we had the medium... Keg's lost two tanks already. Yeah, Keg is down by two, but at the same time, if you take a look over on uh, CD inside, they are down their ST-1. So they have one offensive tank down, one artillery down. Um, I wouldn't really say this is much of a tie because uh, Keg is down two of their frontline tanks. And there is some crossfire going on. The medium uh, pushing down. I see a fire on RU. Fire on RU. Well, he put it out. WZ-120 heading down low. Looks like the WZ I is a little bit low in health. Giza taking quite the hit there. So their skewer... Okay, WZ, he actually has quite the amount of hit points. Yeah, they're going to need to double team up on that uh, 120. And oh. M103 is taken down. Keg, oh. just that low play. Um, That low play was not a good decision. Uh, someone took a nasty hit from that T30. Yeah, there we go. T30 taking down the WZ120. Or maybe in the T95 taking him down. Keg can still bring this back, but that Maushin in the background, they should have had him in the front as well, hugging the hill. Or taking a center play. Because right now, if the Maushin starts moving, there's not a lot of time on the clock for him to really get anywhere. Yeah, uh, if you ask me, that T49 needs to get unspotted. Make his way or oh, the to the east side. Got taken yeah. Savage just got taken out. Savage was inside the, yeah, the ML. By, this, by yeah. the uh, Conqueror. Conqueror is a really good play in this map as well. Um, I'm kind of wondering what the Conqueror's hit points are looking like right now. A little bit of damage. Looks like he's taken only one shot worth about 400. Still has at least 2,000 hit... Well, still has at least 1,500 to uh, 1,600 hit points left. Yeah, that mouse should have pushed up. Yeah, Maushin in the back right now is kind of just... A downplay. He's moving um, now. He's moving now. CDN, they did lose their light tank, the RU251. So they did lose quite a amount of their eyes. They are stuck with their heavies. So slower mobility, less spotting. Super uh, Conqueror taking a Ooh. shot from what looks to be the 752. Keg does have quite the uh, hit point advantage right now and really good positioning on their part. So they are going to want to try and work with what they do have. But with the Maushin staying inside the background, they are technically not ahead on hit points right now with the fights. 705 and the 752 that are going to be looking at the uh, Conqueror right now. Conqueror bouncing off of the 752. Uh, wondering what's going on over on... T95 looks like he's going to be pushing up. Taking a shot in the side from what looks to be one of the heavies. The 50 TP. Yeah, so that's a big 560 alpha round that just got put inside of the T95. T95 either goes center to get some spots for his TDs. Yeah, T95. rotate up to the Artillery. Okay, one side. Honestly, still wondering what the Maushin is doing. They should have the Maushin pushing down oh, the center. T-49 just got taken out. 
DD. Oh, yeah. No light tanks on the, the Conqueror. Field. No light tanks. Left to stand. Conqueror's actually uh, not looking too well on hit points. He only has two more shots in him before he is taken out. And it does look like the 752 is still in play along with the uh, 705A. Or did they take. No, 752 is still in play, but he's down to maybe a two shot. Yeah, I don't see. Oh, T95 just took a shot in the side. Oh, an artillery. Oh, yeah, artillery, really good play. But artillery, since uh, Keg was able to take down one, they are lasting longer. Uh, sadly, they yes. were not able to take down the second artillery. That would have been a massive play that, if they were able to. That would have been huge. That would have been huge. Without, I thought he had them both, but yeah. Yeah, right now, Maushin should be playing and making a play down center. Oh. Maushin should have been gone a long time ago. <laughs> Way long ago. Down the two minutes left on the clock, I don't see Keg being able to pull this out unless they kill everyone. So the oh, time is... making a play on the T-95. Uh, 752 is going to be pushing up on the uh, Conqueror with the 705 down low. Yeah, right now, Conqueror is not going to be looking too good, so call. Ooh, scratch that. Artillery taking down the 705. Right now, the Conqueror should have been focused on the 752 rather than focused on the dead enemy. It is down to 3, 2, 4. Yeah, right now, Keg is on a massive disadvantage with that Maushin in the background. One minute and 30 seconds, really. The only thing CDN has to do right now is sit around. Sit around and hold tight. That Mastin now finally moving with a minute left in the game. He, he's not going to yeah, be able to make you, it too far. Not go anywhere. You no. can make it to the bridge. Yeah, I, he waited way too long to do anything. Like, a Mastin right there is so good. I mean, you're putting a healthy tank at much hit points. Back in the back for what reason? Concept. I mean, he's not going to defend having the a pretty good game with a uh, 2,500 damage and artillery over on uh, CDN. He's up to 1322, so a little bit. Kind of felt the pressure at the very start of the game, and then for how far spread, uh, 50 TP with 3,200. 50 TP was a good play on this map. I said B's making a rush. Move on to T30 right now. It was. I don't know why they're rushing in uh, right now. They could literally just wait. Yeah, I mean, there's no time to cap, so. Yeah. I mean, now it's, what, are you just trying to get damage? Probably. You're probably going in to get some damage. <laughs> and all that's left is out. a big Maushin artillery being taken out by artillery. Well. Oh. Yeah, the, the Maushin on this map, if they would have had the Maushin pushing up the center at the five minute mark, that would have been a bigger, different play. He should have been moving up with his whole team in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they needed to. Tank like arm. that. Mm, tank like that doesn't need to be in the back. The, the T30 and honestly. the T95, you know, they're both at the 3,300 damage each. So they both had the same amount of shots. One kill on the T95. 50 TP, though. Look at that. Right up in the front 3,000 damage yep. honestly taking down the artilleries that that was just a good call on keg's side but the execution that they had going up on the uh honestly all, all over the place kind of just seemed a little bit unorganized you know a newer team newer team so starting off honestly the plays weren't bad but everything takes time it's going to take quite some time I I will be willing yep. to bet if you asked them right now, they would all say, I wish I took a faster tank. They they probably are. T30, T95, honestly, building one of those on this map because of the speed limit. Um, T95, maybe, and use that for a center push to have him I mean, go down like low. Had, to me, they look like they had more of a uh, city kind of a setup than a open field like that. Yeah, keg side you know with I mean? the uh, artillery doing three thousand damage. So three kills, three thousand damage with the two twelve A. Nice. And then the fifty three fifty five over on CDN with uh, three kills, seventeen hundred, and the other artillery sadly with no damage and the Emil with no damage. But 
I tell you what, they got lucky they didn't lose both artilleries at the beginning of that match. I can't believe they left that whole side open for them to come in like that. That was a mistake on their part. Eden Vision. Oh, yeah. Whenever it comes down to uh, very great. Westfield, that's what you got to try and focus on. And Up now steps. time for the big one. Lone, it was nice having you here. Yeah, man. Anytime. Yeah, at CDN, yep. uh, they did keep control of Westfield as well. And, uh, yeah, for the final lineup, final lineup is going to be really, really nice. Kind of fun to watch because... It's going to be 14 versus 14 tier 6 light tanks. That is going to be pretty fun if you ask me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's all random. <laughs> if, you know, no ammo. Yeah, no ammo. No if a team ammo, fires, wow. it is game over. It is nothing is but crazy. ramming. Someone's going to fire. Somebody's going to fire. I guarantee it. Okay, well, while they're filling up the lobby, I'm going to make another run. So you two have fun with your commentating. And I will be right back. <clears throat> yeah, we got a match at we got a match at nine o'clock tonight. Actually, do you? Yeah. Well, good luck with that. I hope you guys win. <coughs> I know. Uh, yeah, that last match. I think they were more set up for a city fight than they were for an open field fight. They had a lot of heavy armor. You know, a lot of side scraping <laughs> tanks and stuff that. Yeah, the city yeah, map, be... yeah, but they also had the lineup for defensive purpose for NBA. They don't have the attacking strat right there. Right, little tanks like that are not meant. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, a new team needs to understand when you play a Malshin, that tank needs to be on the front lines, taking the hits. Yep, out in the back, babysitting artillery. You you don't need to babysit artillery. A medium somewhere close by or a light tank to do um back and forth motions you know what i mean to keep lighting up blind spots for the artillery but a mouse shouldn't no the mouse ain't gonna be no good for it yeah that mouse should he... <clears throat> he... if you had that mouse on the front lines with down the center on the bridge with, with the majority of the tanks where especially the tds covering them from the bridge um upper bridge area that would have went in favor of Keg, if you ask me. Yep. Yeah, he just especially he taking my shame back there like that. Especially staying, sending the light tank in like they did. Even though it was a suicide mission, but he took out the artillery. One artillery, if you would take out the second artillery, it would be a total new game changer for uh, you know, CDN to come back and try to win that one. Yep. It, you know, and I wonder if he really needed to suicide that. I wonder if he could have just got in there and spotted and the artillery could have took him out without him being spotted. You know, because yeah, there was nobody that, there. Yeah. There was nobody he there. Could have stayed, he could have stayed on top where the bridge is and with the clue because their heavy tanks weren't going to spot them. Nope. He could have taken out one heavy artillery right there by spotting, and then they already would have could take out the other one. Yep. He had to go in and suicide himself, but hey, I mean, but I mean, it was, play. A good, it was a good play in my opinion, because he did take one out, and I said at the very beginning that they needed to at least take one of them out at the beginning. You know. But both of them would have been huge. If they would have took both of them out, it would have been a total new game change. Something yeah. that I do want to make a call out on, though. Um, the 752 over on... Keg's side only did 399 damage and he had 2,400 assist. So he was only able to get like one shot me. off. You know, it's like, and with oh, an auto order like only being able to get one <laughs> shot off, that's kind of not ideal, especially mm -hmm. with a three right. shot. You know, like that's something, you know, 752 was probably a misplay. Um, E50s on that, that map out. would have been amazing, or compounds or 50 tons would have been amazing on that map. Yeah, but he got caught out hard. Keg's attack, they just had too many slow tanks. They just, once CDN got it locked yep. down, that's all they had to do was just maintain the lockdown. Yeah, we were mm -hmm. just saying that if they had got both them artilleries out, it would have been a different game, though. It would have been a way different game if they got both artilleries out.
Um, but yeah, keg. There's only one thing you can do, and that's learn by experience. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of teams out there that probably don't mind getting with other teams that are new to comp. I mean, my team ain't um, afraid to go after other teams that are new and show them what it's like to do comp. Yeah, you know, and loan if you want to drop out the lobby so they can get in all the players. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. No, you're good. But um, there you go. No, nah, they, the performance on keg, they did have good <laughs> performance, just they weren't situated correctly. The way the conqueror was placed, being left alone. Uh, honestly, the conqueror had like one other person because it's always nice to get a crossfire going. So if someone gets rushed, mm -hmm. you're able to get shots on whoever's rushing him, get the damage out prevent a rush, and just try and lock down. CDN, they had really good uh, communication and control. So you said you're doing Tier 6 here? Tier 6 light tanks. It's going to be a ram fest. Tiers. So what do you think would be the best light tank for this particular Germans match? Uh, Germans, like the, the way I look at it, Germans, they it's nothing but heavy metal. They weigh a lot. We're probably going to be yeah. seeing a lot of those. And from what I heard, snake bites. Snake bites, huh? Yeah. Because they weigh quite a bit. Right. And you're going to want something heavy. Probably going to put spa liners on them. Yeah, spa liners and, and, and controlled impact more than likely. Yep. I don't know about the damage negation perks either. They might be running those. They might not. <laughs> I guess we'll see if they... I wonder if they are. Because I wonder if, how how big of a difference does it really make. Honestly, Blade, um, Blade, Lone, I don't know how we're going to spectate over this match. Well, how me and uh, Blade are going to be spectating <laughs> over this match. Because it's it's literally going to be a ram fest. I don't... Like, honestly, by this point, it's literally a meme. It, it'll probably be a lot of laughter is what it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, more than likely. I, I, I want to see someone get sandwiched. That's all I want to see. Oh, yeah. I want to see people, like, flip three or, you know, uh, just, go tumbling. I, I mean, with 14 versus 14, nothing but light tanks, someone's going to kill themselves. Oh, you know it. You know it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually got a little uh, story to tell you guys right quick before the game starts. Now, my team was playing the team on Cliff, uh, the tier, tier 10s, and we, we took the win, but the funny part was when we had one enemy tank lift, he was on the... Side of the cap, I think it was the B cap. It's NBA and the uh, lone IS7. So we put all of our, we had like four tanks left over. So we decided to sandwich him and push him literally off the cliff edge to the water. <laughs> With That's the game victory. It time. was great. It was great. <laughs> we were all laughing. We were like, push him, push him, push him. <laughs> Shut him off the cliff. Yeah, Get out of here. Always a good time. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think. Blade the other day on Mountain Pass. Artillery tracked him and forced him off the bridge. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going across the bridge. Ooh. Artillery comes in, hits me, tracks me, turns my tank. As soon as I turn, my track goes off the edge. Because I was trying to stay on the edge so they couldn't shoot me from below. And, yeah, took me right off the edge. I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that was also Ain't the match that I took a thousand damage from falling to. Wow. Wow. Anyways, I, I'm actually, I enjoying, um, before I go, sorry. So, I, um, I'm definitely enjoying the map fights, the way they, the admins actually set it up, um, NBA encounter how you take different maps and all that from different teams i i find it fun you can do world war ii you can also do cold war um i, I find it very really enjoyable i really yeah, am. just the it's it's a full variety and it is. you know whenever you're contesting a map or you're taking a black map or doing whatever honestly um i wish i could participate in map fights because it just seems fun but at the same time, it's like Cold War and everything else. I don't play Cold War. And then, you know, I'm, I'm a part of Decoy. I'm on their comp team. I'm playing comp with Decoy. And then, yeah. Like, I don't know. My schedule is kind of packed whenever it comes down to it. 
So being able yeah, to take yeah, the time out to that. do a stream like this for map fights and record it, uh, this this is actually really nice. Then we have a match tomorrow night. I forgot who we scrimmed though. Oh, are that they fights. short on I just, players? I just commentate and try to do comic relief for him. <laughs> it's fun, play. It really is, dude. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm just, I, I don't have the skills of most of these guys. I'm, I'm an average player at best, as I always say, or a little above. But yeah, I have a lot of fun playing. I, I, not good enough to play competition, but I do like watching it. That's for sure. I mean, I don't want to be that guy. I really don't. But you don't gotta be a total good person in comp. I mean, ask me. Any team can be beat as long as you have good teamwork, good focus, fire, and good strats. Simple. Okay, so oh, there's, there's a couple like, of tanks that I have selected right now. Oh, I'm sad. I was, I was expecting to see a full on four, 14 and 14. Oh, Rover? Ram fest. This is snake bite. You won't bring me back in there. I'll pull my snake back out and have fun with it. <laughs> just just jump in, start pulling out tanks and ramming each other. <laughs> but looks yeah. Like still, looks like we're still missing some people. Yeah, they're they're missing quite a few. Yeah, Blade, like like I was saying, like Saz did a match. I think you were there talking with it. I think we were playing Fubu. Yeah. Yeah. Now Fubu whipped our butts. I'll give it to them. They're a good team, but we still took a victory from one of their maps. So any team can be beat. And yep. I, honestly, as long I mean, as you understand your tank, your weak spots, I would say you're good to go. I have my moments, but yeah. Oh, I, I said, I, I Keg enjoy is down in hit points a lot. Almost every day. Just the other day, how many games did I play the other day? 59 games. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you played. He, he was sad that he, he didn't put one more in before he got off because he, he had 59. Mm. Yep. I had a 57% win rate, so I wasn't too... There you go. Too bad. All right, well, I don't know how we're going to commentate over this. Uh, CDN has got a massive player either. advantage. I mean, 14 versus 14, tier 6 light tanks, you know, you got to think that's just... A lot of memes. That's all this is. This is just nothing but memes. But more than likely, CDN might be taking the win on this run. Oh, I would say they will, considering the... Uh, the, the massive player advantage. They had 13. The, yep. And Keg has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They got 8. Well, I mean... Depending on how their it, tanks are right. set up, you know, they might be able to negate the damage. There is no shooting, so if you do your rams correctly, you can actually uh, take down three players. Oh, no. No, they're avoiding oh, the they rams. Come. Oh, it's... there they go. Oh. There we go. Oh, there is... oh, it... oh on <laughs> the side. That's a hard hit there. Oh, he's swinging around for another one. Oh, oh there he's out. He's out. There's like no keeping track of this right now. Yeah, you can't even tell who's who's <laughs> like <his> burning tanks <laughs> and blowing up tanks. Oh. If you guys enjoy it, I'm gonna go back to my party and get ready for the no match. No problem, tonight. man. Um, no problem. Yep. Thanks for so, coming by. Yeah, man. You guys enjoy your night, so good seeing you, buddy, Blade. You too. Yeah. You too. Um I'll hit you guys up later. Okay, Blade, but oh, Keg, Keg being this is new, hilarious. it is. Yeah, <laughs> just it is. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, T fifty's oh. fast. Oh, oh red. The snake bite, man. I tell you what. Oh no, he's too. oh he slowed down. That's not good. Oh. Yeah, I don't know Come about on, this. Yeah. This don't is just face capping. <laughs> Yeah, no, try and base cap and then just try and use your clutch. Dude, oh, dude he just goes. got clutched. That's awesome. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That, that's just a that meme. Cool. That's all this is. It's just and a meme. That would have been so much better had they had full teams to yeah, go that would, each other. That would have yeah. been really nice. But then again, you know, having um, multiple matches back to back like that.
MT25, right. 876, MT25. MT25 doing the most. I wonder how much that weighs. Yeah. Yeah. Snakebite doing 744. You have to go through, look at the hit points, and see how much they lost on the Rams. But, yeah, that's that's just nothing but a meme. It would have been cool to have full lobbies on that, though. Poor Valentine. He never got caught up to kill anybody. Oh. Valentines are slow. <laughs> but they, they yeah. do weigh quite a bit. Yep. He was probably hoping somebody would run into him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool. That was awesome. The last last part was just a meme. That's all that was. Just a big old meme. <laughs> uh, so there there still is more going on. They still have. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they need to play looks one like, more. Looks like... Uh... Looks like they got some more people. Yeah. They came in. <laughs> they probably had some people buying tanks because they probably didn't have tier 6 lights. <laughs> yeah, the only one I would have had would have been the rover. I know. And that's what they got filled it up there, too. They got two rovers. Three rovers, actually. Yep. Oh. Well, and the other teams, they got two on their side. The three snake bites. The snake bites were, man, I'm surprised how fast they were. Oh, they, they can get up to like 80. The snake bites can be extremely quick. Yeah, the rover the rover that I had had would do like 77. Yeah, the, the rover, rovers are fast rover too. Was, yep. Not, but map fights, did, I, I really like map fights. I like what they do. Yeah, I do and too. And being able to jump on. It's a lot of fun commentate over these i mean don't get me wrong like right now it's nothing but memes because of the <laughs> tier six light tank ram fest <laughs> oh it, it looks like the teams are actually organized with uh red being red and blue being blue this time yeah rather than <laughs> looking at the 50 tp and he's blue shooting at blue tanks right. like why is he shooting at his teammates <laughs> <laughs> yeah and no, no comment on this dude there's so many light tanks oh well, you know, this, this is the map that we did the uh... they're going for the circle they're going to try to circle them Nope, maybe not. They're going all in the corner. No, I, I'm just watching a wolf pack chase down this one snake bite. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was watching that too. I'm on the lead tank here. Hot, hot sausage, in the snake bite. He's, oh. he's, he's on. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh no. Oh, he turned sideways almost. All right, they're starting to get some split offs here. It's, it's <laughs> gonna get real hard to keep track of what's going on. You got to use that map. Yep. Oh, oh no! Man, that was a near miss there. Oh, and, oh, and another near miss. Man, I tell you what, that guy's got it. He's cooking. <laughs> yeah, They've there was a couple plays I saw there. Now. They're using the clutch to make the tracks take the impact rather than the tank to try and reserve hit points. That's a yep. really good strategy. This, yeah, it is. Oh, as I said, we're oh, gonna see some flips. Oh, oh, oh! Snake bite hit a rock and almost flipped upside down. Oh, I'm surprised no one's killed <laughs> themselves yet. I can't oh. say that someone just killed themselves. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he just ran into the side of the snake bite and killed himself. Oh, no. I'm not I, sure I'm, who that someone was. Someone flipped. It looked like someone flipped. Oh. And took damage. <laughs> there's just a big ram fest right here. <laughs> wow, there's such a massive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there's a pile up in the middle. They should have did this during the WWE event. Right. That would have been hilarious. Uh-oh. The T-50-2 is... He, he's hurt. The samurai is still <laughs> rocking, dude. He is just going. Oh, no. Don't hit the rocks.
Rover's down low. I don't know. If, if they would have done this on, like, cliff or something and drove around the cliff edge and make people drive <laughs> off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> that, there's no commentating over this. It's just watching. Oh! Oh! oh Blue <laughs> taking a yeah, lot of damage in that AMX. Yeah, no, that's has, a... Oh, yeah. Snakebite got his... Oh, they're boxing him in. They're holding Sandwich. him up for somebody to get a good run on him. Oh, where'd the guy go? Oh, oh no, he ran into the back of him and killed himself. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there, there's no commentating over this, but it's funny. I got two snake bites going at it over here together. Oh, no. Oh, you should have went for the ram. I would have just said, screw it. Okay, there we go. Good trade. Yeah, but Keg, Keg's definitely low on the hit points, that's for sure. <laughs> big crazy um i think a big crazy was to focus out like a full health tank and just sacrifice himself to do as much damage as he could to a full health tank that'd be the way to do it you know like i i think with the ramming if you're low health look for the highest health target and hit him hard <laughs> these rovers are running for their lives man it's just, I mean, look at how fast the uh, snake bites are. It's really hard to keep track of them. Oh, they're catching him. They're catching him. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Honestly, so I kind of feel like they should try and just do out driving. Because if you can out drive them and make them follow you to try and get the ram. I don't think they give them enough opportunities to kill themselves. Yeah. Oh man, he managed to get away. He got distance. I, I'd be taking terrain that uh, is really hard to traverse and see if we can get people to kill themselves going off that terrain. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm watching Demon. You're watching Demon? I'm, I'm watching uh, Big yeah. Crazy right now. <laughs> Demon's made some really, really good moves, man. I mean, he they've come close to hitting him three or four times, and he's just... Just on the move? He is on the move. He did have two of them on him, but there's only one on him now. Ooh. See, because right now, I think the best way to play is just try and get people to make mistakes. Yeah, see, like, right there, that's a mistake. He just... Break check. Oh. You didn't get to see Fritter, did you? I went over to him immediately, no. and he just started rolling. Oh. I missed it. Yeah, you did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he got caught. He didn't lose much, though. That's a wall. Ooh, there they go. Yep, Demon is last one standing. Yeah, and he's got one I... on him. He's still at half health, or a little less. Oh, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was a great break check. Yeah. Holy cow. That's all he's doing right now, is just focusing on trying to survive, but... Uh, those snake bites. I, I do believe those snake bites are going to be able oh. to catch up on him without a problem. Oh, look at... Oh, nice. I see. Oh, not this time. Oh, he's done. Oh. <laughs> sandwich! <laughs> we got to see a sandwich awesome. right at the very end. That's hilarious. Oh, I wish you could have seen all the moves he was making, though, man. I mean, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's just a meme. That's all there that is, so is just a big meme. They say just so close to hitting him and he would just that was just awesome yeah uh, we gotta watch someone do flips kill themselves and then we gotta watch a a sandwich right at the very end there yeah sandwich is always fun I knew once once he was the last one standing and all they were yeah he wasn't gonna get away from all of them <laughs> yeah GG's on both teams though that was that was some good plays 
Except for Westfield, you know, Keg is a newer team. It's going to take some time to know what's going on. Are they going to do it again? I, I do not know. I mean, it looks like people are picking tanks. If they're doing it again, I don't think I can handle much more. <laughs> oh, I was almost in tears that last one, man. That was freaking hilarious. I, I think they might be doing one more. I think they are. Okay, black maps are best of three, so they might be playing one more. But... Oh, the, the last one for fun? No. There's no way they're doing the last one for fun. This this might be how they do it for the black maps. But CDN, they definitely have a hit point advantage and player advantage right now on Keg. Right. Yeah, I think for the last one, they ought to even it up, you know? Yeah. But well, no, it's like if you don't have enough players on, you know, that's kind of yeah, your fault I mean, for not having enough fault. players on. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's like you, you agreed to a, a full lobby <laughs> of lights. And then to have a couple of players not show up for it, it does kind of suck. Because whenever it comes down to it, like whenever whenever you're doing uh, 15 versus 15 or you're doing 10s, 10s uh, can be a little hard just because everyone's on a different time schedule to get that down. Yep. All right, last one. Best of three. For black map steps is a black map, so I wonder how uh, they're gonna be doing it again. I mean, it, yeah, does, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, how I mean, to do it again. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It, it, you know, <laughs> I don't care how they do it. I think it's fun to watch. It, it is honestly. This is just hilarious. Um, if, if if anything, I uh, we should turn on slow classical music in the background. <laughs> you know, right. do, 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 do. turn off the HUD do, do, and just like do, try and do, sl do slow motion <laughs> rams. You know. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, that was a hard hit right there. Uh, someone do a flip. Uh, no, I think two teammates ran into each other. <laughs> <laughs> some uh, chaos is imbuing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Ooh, Sewer just took a big hit. Oh. 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 Yeah, see, the VKs, they weigh quite a bit. So yeah. taking on the, one of those VKs can be very scary. Snakebite just got rammed in the side and taken out, like, oh. immediately. What's up with all the sandwiches? Don't get me wrong, it's hilarious, but... Man, they're doing it right, because, uh... Yeah, if, if, if you can sandwich people, that's going to be the way to do it. Yep. Because then you have the damage between these. Wait, are they filled in Tier 4s? That's a Tier 4. I think CDN has got a tier 4 filled in. Yeah, they have a tier 4 filled in. The uh, 1G114. Oh. Well, that's not legal, is it? Well, they, they're probably doing it because of how much of a hit point advantage they have. Oh, oh yeah. Get, oh, <laughs> oh, did you see that one? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I, I'm, the I'm right here. Flipped. Oh no, I didn't see that. <laughs> oh no, he came over the top, hit the top of the one tank, flipped and died. Blew himself up when he hit the ground. But he still launched off the top of that tank. Oh. And it, it's kind of like you don't know off. where to go. You don't know where to go to watch. Yep, Hot Sauce is... He's... he's Man. He's going in for the kills. He's in that snake bite. <laughs> I heard somebody blow up. Oh, boom. Oh, that's over. <laughs> oh, it's not Dude. looking good. Who's left? 
Oh, I don't know. All I know is just memes. Uh oh. You know, it, yeah, it's it's really hard to commentate over these. It is. I mean, by this that point, was... you know, do we just start yeah, talking it's... about bananas? Right. Oh, oh, don't. He's going to flip. No, he oh. didn't. Oh, and the other guy hit the rock and blew up. <laughs> oh, and that guy ran into him and blew up. Dude. And it looks oh. like. Oh. Oh, uh, demon is left, left, left again. up again. Let's see. Let's see how he drives. Let's watch this. His only hope is to make people kill themselves. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of all you can do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Taking the top of the hill to kind of lighten the force of the blows. That's a good idea. Yeah, it is a good idea. And then coming oh, in for a, a ram. Good run. Yep. Yeah. That was. He doesn't want to get a side cut out though. If you get your side cut out, that's a lot of damage. You want to try and take him frontally. Yep. Oh, nice. See, I'm telling you, man, this guy could drive. Yeah, but the snake bite's going to be catching him. Yeah, but I, I'm telling you, man, watch it. It, it looks like that <laughs> rover's got some really good traverse speed, though. Oh, no. Okay. Oh! oh. Yep. Yeah, I ran in the side. Yep. Nah, that, that was fun. Not gonna lie, that was fun. That imagine, was fun. imagine playing in this, okay? Imagine, because as a spectator, it's really hard to commentate over matches like that, but, dude, imagine being one of the people playing in it. Yep. That would the have DK been fun. 2801, I guess. Yeah, 2,200 damage. It, it just weighs a lot. Yep. Three and with all that weight yeah. behind it, yeah, it's 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 a hard tank to take down because of how much it weighs. Yep. He don't take near as much as he gives. Yeah, that's as I said, the Germans are probably going to have some hit points on their side. Well, I I, give, I, I give, do believe that is the last I give one. Credit for his driving skills, though. And it looks like CDN takes the black map. 3 0. Yeah, I, I'd say good games. Good games on both teams. Keg is newer. So, you know, Keg's going to want to take some time out to get some strategies put together for some maps. And um, from yeah. what they just learned over on uh, Westfield, they might be able to change up a little bit. Progetto yeah, 66, strategy. though, they, they could have made some better plays with the Progetto 66. But at the same yeah, time, you know, it's... I agree. With just the, the DPM of that tank, and then with artilleries against it, it has no top armor. So it, it's really hard to use. Other than that, dude, good games. Um, everyone that uh, was here live, thank you. Anyone who's catching this on YouTube after it is uploaded, uh, if you guys liked it, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys like... Uh, comp gameplay we're going to be doing a map fights battle league more often and depending if other groups want us to commentate over them as well other than that it was nice having you guys here yep it was a good time blade thank you for coming loan uh loan did leave but it was nice to have oh, Lone here as well <laughs> Just always a good time nothing but memes the entire time <laughs> Yeah, Ramfest was pretty fun. I haven't seen one of them. In a while, yeah. Like that. Yep, yeah. not in a while. Alrighty, well, we're going to call it here. You guys have a fantastic night.